I'm going to show you a couple ways to put an image on your uh, screen, whether through an image or via a website. One way to do this is uh, using Amazon Silk browser uh, web browser. So I'm going to load it in here. I've already loaded up uh, the URL uh, for the image I want to use. I'm using a test uh, image that uh, we put on to Imgur. Uh, but you can come in here and you can type in any URL that can be directly to a JPEG that could be a website and then you do have some options of how that displays on the screen here. Um, you just move the browser down and there's your image. So it does display on your TV. The problem with this method is whether you have a screensaver set or not, it will after 15 minutes uh, go to sleep and your screen will go blank. So it's not really ideal for uh, a website that doesn't reload or uh, is a static image like you would use for a menu. So uh, despite the Silk browser being there and being able to display uh, out of the box, it doesn't really work well for this purpose. I'm going back to the menu and I want to show you how to download simple TV display from uh, my company, Sperry Labs. There's two ways to find it. One, you can use the search icon and actually search Sperry Labs. I'm going to use the uh, search uh, function on the re Alexa remote. Sperry Labs. Uh, you can see it finds some TV uh, in uh, Movies, not sure why those come up on that search, but here in apps and games, here's simple TV display, uh, no sleep, webpage TV was the old name, TV scoreboard, also a Sperry Labs uh, app that lets you keep score of uh, your football, basketball, etc. games simply with your Amazon Fire. But we're going to click in here to simple uh, TV display and uh, check it out here because we already own it. Uh, we can download it. If you do not own it, you can download it um, and pay for it here. Uh, directly in your account. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download that now. Now that we have Simple TV Display downloaded, we can go ahead and open it. And we can decide if we would like to display a web page, a video, or image. One distinct advantage to Simple TV Display is that with a video or image, you can actually download uh, that directly to your device um, so that you can uh, have it saved and use uh, the image to display even when you don't have internet. I'm gonna go ahead and click image and click next and uh, go ahead and type in that URL to our Imgur recording. Now that we've typed in the URL, we'll go ahead and click next. Hopefully we've got it all set up here. Like I said, you do have the option to download this for offline use. I'm gonna skip this for now and then I can decide how often I'd like this content to refresh. Uh, because this image is never going to change, I'll click never. But if you have a web page that you'd like to refresh or an image URL that would refresh for some reason uh, every so often, you can set a refresh rate there. Uh, the other distinct advantage to Simple TV Display is that you can have uh, this app launch on boot. So this means if your Fire TV ever gets turned off or gets unplugged or gets turned off at night, whatever it may be, uh, it will, when it connects to power in the internet, it will actually launch straight into the app and to what you have displayed uh, without needing to come in. This is especially useful if you have uh, content on multiple TVs uh, that you need to manage. We also have some image settings, scale to fit, stretch to fit, zoom to fit. So this is how uh, how it displays on your screen. I'm good with scale to fit because I've made my image exactly uh, 16.9 uh, to fit the HD screen. And here is my image. This will not turn off. It will not uh, go to sleep. It will display for as long as I leave the app running. And if I have um, the auto boot, if this t device get turned off, it would turn back on and come straight to this as well. As you saw in the settings, you can also choose a, a web page or an image. Uh, you can also, if you have a vertical screen, you can display uh, an image uh, link to a vertical uh, image and get it to fit that way. Uh, you see a lot of menus, uh, restaurants do that. Uh, you could also build a web page theoretically sideways, although they gets a little goofy trying to manage the rest of your Fire TV um, in a vertical web page. But um, yeah, quick primer on a simple way to get a video, image, or web page on uh, your Amazon Fire TV. 
uh, for an effective cost. One last note, uh, Simple TV, once you've downloaded it, as long as you're using the same Amazon account, uh, you can continue to uh, download it as you own it on multiple devices and show different content per TV. So if you have multiple TVs or multiple uh, things you need to show with pieces of content, you can do that as long as you download it uh, and launch from the same Amazon account.